Now let's go back to the bookshelf and show you a couple of other features of the bookshelf. Uh, first of all, what if you don't want every book? Maybe you've read a book and you don't need it um, stored on your uh, device any longer. Um, let's just pick one. Let's say I want to delete this uh, ereader.com readme book. If you hit edit, you get the little minus icons on the left. This is similar to many other uh, iPhone applications. If I select one, a delete button pops up. And I hit the word delete, and it, it's deleted. So very simple to delete books. You can delete multiple books when you're in this mode. Then when you're done, you hit the done button, and you go back to the normal uh, kind of mode. Well, that's uh, getting books off of your device. How do you actually get new books onto your uh, iPhone or iPod Touch? The plus sign in the lower right-hand corner of your bookshelf brings up a menu with several different options for bringing content onto your device. The first option is your e-reader or fictionwise.com bookshelf. So these are books that you have previously purchased from ereader.com or fictionwise.com. If I select that option, it prompts me to for my login information so that it can log into my account and display all the books that I have uh, previously purchased. Uh, I've already done this in the past, and so it saves the last login that you enter. So I just have to hit go. And now it's connecting over the internet to my, uh, in this case, ereader.com account, and it shows me all of the books that I have uh, previously purchased. If I see a check mark next to a book, that means that that book is already installed on my device, and there's no need to download it again. Uh, I can, however, select a book that is not on my device. It'll show me information about it. Hit the download button, and uh, the book begins to download. The download occurs in the background. I could go, go on. I don't have to wait for it to finish. I could select other books, and it tells me when it's finished. I could select another book and have multiple downloads going at the same time. And when I'm done doing that, again, it tells me when they're finished. Go back to my bookshelf and go to date. And there are the two books that I, I just downloaded. And now I could simply tap on one to read it. So that's uh, getting books from uh, the existing books that you've previously purchased at ereader.com or fictionwise.com. Let, let's say you want to get a new piece of reading material that you haven't uh, purchased in the past. You can go to the ereader.com mobile site by selecting the second option. And this launches out to a Safari browser to the eReader mobile site and brings it up. And now you've got options to search and browse or go by categories or look at recent uh, bestsellers. Uh, you can put them in your shopping cart and purchase them. And when you go back to the eReader application, it will, by default, it will automatically start to download those new purchases. So you don't have to, you, all you have to do is go through the shopping cart process, go back to eReader uh, application, on the device and they'll just download automatically. Let me go back to the e-reader application. Let's say you don't want to pay for content, you want some free content. We have another option for you. You can go to manybooks.net, which is a great website with over 20,000 uh, free uh, e-books. Many of them are public domain, some of them are Creative Commons uh, books uh, contributed by authors. And uh, we could go to, here's the many books uh, .net mobile site. I could go to recommendations. That'll bring me to several recommended books that uh, the site uh, operators recommend. Let's say I select this one, Seven Swords. It gives you some information about the book. And if I go down to the bottom, I see uh, that we can download it in the e-reader format. Make sure it's e-reader format that you download because this is the e-reader application and it starts to download automatically when you come back. There it is, the Seven Swords. And I can select it, and it opens up. Let's just jump to chapter one. And there it is. So just a few seconds to go find a piece of content, uh, download it, and start reading. This has been a brief demo of eReader 2.1 for iPhone and iPod Touch. We have a lot of great new features uh, in this release. And we're not stopping there, though. We're going to keep improving uh, e-reader as time goes on. And stay tuned for more great releases coming out later this year.